Hey, Facebook friends, meteorologist Dave Dirks, and we are getting ready to take our Storm Tracker winter tour. Well, we're already here, but we're about ready to get things underway here. We're at the uh, Food City in Elizabethan. Hey! How are you, meteorologist Dave Dirks? Hello, and I'm at week, uh, Weekend Morning Anchor, Christy Calcagno. We are here in Marion, oh, Illinois. Recovery efforts from the devastating tornado that hit Middle Tennessee are underway, and you can help. Hi, I'm Steve Smith, and Food City is happy to be partnering with WCYB on relief efforts to help our neighbors in Middle Tennessee suffering through the damage done by the deadly tornadoes. WCYB News 5 happy to partner with Food City to help those affected by those deadly tornadoes there in Middle Tennessee. Starting today, you can make donations at Food City in the fundraising campaign that we have going. Donations will be accepted in all checkout lanes through Tuesday, March the 10th. All of the money that is raised will be allocated to the Cookville Putnam County Tornado Relief Fund. Hey, Facebook friends, meteorologist Dave Dirks here. We are broadcasting live from the emergency management <laughs> operations here in uh, Cookville, Putnam County, one of the counties uh, extraordinarily hit hard by the tornadoes last week. Uh, joining me now is uh, the CEO and president of uh, Food City, Steve Smith. We got the mayor's porter and Shelton of uh, Putnam County and also Cookville. Uh, gentlemen, thank you all for being here. So we did a six day fundraiser, gave people an opportunity to give it to cash register and fellows we're proud to say we came up with a, a corporate donation and the money we raised three hundred ninety one thousand two hundred sixty one dollars hundred percent of the proceeds go to Putnam County Cookville tornado relief fund we've all seen stores with empty shelves in person and on social media and today we heard from Food City CEO Steve Smith about what they're doing to keep shelves stocked and stores clean. He wants to reassure shoppers that products are constantly being replenished and that many of Food City's supply chains are locally sourced. Now we would encourage people not to hoard products. We would encourage people to shop in normal shopping patterns. If we do that, we'll be able to get the supply chain caught up much quicker and we'll be able to have our shelves stocked much quicker. Food City is also adjusting its store hours for now. Stores will open at 7 a.m. to customers 65 and older, as well as those with underlying health conditions. Then stores will be open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. for all other customers. This will give associates times to clean and sanitize and restock overnight. Also, Food City is hiring 2,500 new employees to keep up with the growing demand. Full and part-time positions are available, including cashiers, clerks, stockers, meat cutters, cake decorators, and retail management. You can find a link to their website on WCYB.com. This is a News 5 Chime In, family time with Food City Moment. And we're teaming up with our friends at Food City there for a new feature, Family Time. We want you to send us your pictures and your family spending quality time together during the challenging circumstances of the pandemic. Here's some that you've already sent in here this morning. Hey, he looks like he's having fun right there with his first catch. Food City selecting 48 employees to serve as Grand Marshals for Friday night's Food City 300 race at BMS. They will virtually deliver the starting command for the race. Food City leaders say it is a special recognition for some of their frontline workers amid this pandemic. Some of our folks here at the office who are buying uh, the different groceries uh, out from different departments and also our store operations team in the uh, race stores, what we call the surrounding race areas, are all sending associates to help record the video for drivers to start their engines on Friday. Food City is Bristol Motor Speedway's longest running sponsor and the second longest in all of NASCAR. Oh, hey everybody! Chief Meteorologist Dave Dirks here and we are in the Food City in Abingdon, Virginia and look who just came along for the ride here, my good friend Lisa Johnson. How are you, friend? Hey Dave, I'm great. Looking How are you? Looking forward to our virtual tailgate with Food City again tonight. October is Vegetarian Month, and today we're celebrating all the yummy and nutritious ways that you can incorporate a vegetarian or vegan diet into your lifestyle. And joining me today is registered dietitian Elizabeth Hall with Food City. Elizabeth, you have some great things to share with us today. 
Yes, Julie, great to see you. And you know, last week in Healthy Living, we talked about October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So you'll notice a lot of similar items on the table today for talking about Vegetarian Month. Boo, all you ghouls and goblins. Halloween is near and we want your best spooky snack photos. During News 5 at 5.30 and Fox 39 News at 10. Now through October 30th, we'll be highlighting your creepiest Halloween treat picks. Vote at WCYB.com. So I'm looking forward to seeing all of your entries, gang, and don't forget, you could win a great get it's a hundred dollars hundred dollars and there's ten of these being given out city all right right can't lose thanks food city all right. <laughs> <laughs> well happy halloween everybody don't forget to send in your pictures of your spooky snacks yes thank you <laughs> Bye.